Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Borgsy, and this is going to be a review of the ZA13 Wireless. Um, since I've started reviewing the new Zowie C-Series, basically every comment is just begging Zowie to do wireless, and they have not done it. But this is honestly the best 3D printed mouse that I have used to date because it does use a stock Zowie ZA13 shell with the G305 internals. And I'll explain how I got it. I'll explain how you can get it. Um, but yeah, this isn't an official Zowie product. I can imagine that'll give some dislikes on this video. Don't care. And as to how I got it, very simple. I saw this tweet where the designer was selling a prototype and I just decided that I wanted to try it. You see the specs, it weighs 68 grams, has kill, okay, that's awkward, um, kill 8.0s for all of the buttons. And for $130, I decided that is well worth the price for a wireless Zowie mouse. Um, but if you would like to commission one yourself, there is a waiting list. And you see the price for the ZA13 is 185 that price can actually lower this is not a sponsored video i'm actually just explaining how you can get it. i paid the full price um but yeah if you have the stock mouse let's say you want to turn your za13 wireless you could just deduct the $60 from that if you sent him the shell to use. And the same thing if you have a spare G305, that could save you another $40. So it's not really outrageously priced, but if you have a 3D printer and you wanna do it yourself, another option is just buying the files for the base plate on his Etsy listing. There's actually just so many of these on Etsy, it's kind of insane. Um, but yeah, if you wanna go the cheaper route and just do it on your own mouse, um, that's an option too, but I am really satisfied with the quality of this because I generally don't like 3D printed mice. Let me make my camera bigger again. Or at least I didn't like them because in the past I had only used mice with fully 3D printed shells, which not only are they not exact replicas of the shape in the same way that the stock shell is, um, also, they just have a lower quality feeling to them, but this, if you put your hand on it compared to the standard wired ZA13B, there would be no way to tell that it has 3D printed components and changed internals, aside from, of course, like button feel. No way mid-video mouse pad upgrade, but yeah, I just think that this is the right way to approach 3D printed mice, because I've never used a fully 3D printed shell and thought, wow, this is a viable alternative to the stock mouse, while this really does feel like an improved ZA13. The weight is only 68 grams, which on my scale is 10 grams lighter than the actual wired ZA13. You can see the balancing is very good. But the biggest difference and reason that people clicked on this video is, of course, that this version made by Cryomods is wireless. And as far as the wireless implementation goes, I only have positive things to say. Um, you can see the sensor positioning is identical to the stock ZA13. So it's just a similar feeling, no differences in terms of DPI deviation that I could notice, um, even though the mice are using different sensors. Overall, the feel of the wireless technology was good which is what i was expecting and obviously the complete freedom in range of motion that comes with wireless is great but in terms of in-game performance especially if you have a paracord on your wired mouse or just a really good cable it's not like finally switching to a wireless mouse is going to unlock a whole new world um, it's just a lot more convenient and you will never get fucked over by having a cable and since there is no decrease in quality or performance i just really enjoy this mouse and it's not something I was expecting when I bought it um, it really outdid my expectations another thing that I did not realize um, was going to be so nice is that it uses the stock G305 encoder listen to that a Zowie scroll wheel that isn't AIDS you're gonna want to leave a like for that one and then the ZA13 scroll wheel to ruin it. It's funny to think about how this is spec-wise just what people want Zowie to do, but Zowie is just chugging along with the C-Series, with the wireless mice, I guess permanently under development. What is their reason? Is it eSports reliability concerns? Because like nobody, nobody obviously uses wireless mice in any eSports. It doesn't make sense to me, um, but hey, for now, this is all you could get in terms of wireless Zowie. And something that I have not talked about until this point is the ZA13 shape. This is the only Zowie mouse that has not been cloned. 
Um, so there's not any wired alternatives, not any wireless. Um, so it's nice to actually have a different version of it. What's unique about this mouse is how far the hump is towards the back and how high that is. So it's a narrow, tall mouse. It feels really great for claw grip. It's not that similar to anything. Some people say XM1, others say MM710, um, but really it only feels like the ZA shape. The ZA12 and the ZA11, those are longer. They don't have the same short feeling. But if you know you're into low profile FK style shapes, this is going to be about the exact opposite of what you are looking for. But it's a shape that I've always liked, a mouse I thought was underrated. Um, so having a wireless version, it was honestly perfect because there is no alternative. And one of the last things to cover are the buttons. Obviously, when you're getting a custom mouse, you can really choose whatever you want. But when I snagged this mouse, it had kill 8.0s um, for all of the switches, the main clicks, and the side buttons. These side buttons are unbelievably clicky and tactile. I know I just said this in my S2 review, but some of the best side buttons I have ever used. Um, the positioning's great as well, and the main switches being kill 8.0s. I'll do a quick sound comparison. It obviously comes down to preference, but I think the custom mouse has better feeling main buttons as well. Um, slightly heavier, but it has a deeper feeling, a more full feeling, I guess would be a better way to say it. And it just feels a bit less cheap than the stock Zowie switches on the B-Series. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to review. Oh, it's also USB-C, because God bless Cryomods for implementing USB-C. Not sure if this is the standard, but he also includes this really nice black paracord um, with gold connectors, so that's some high class stuff. Um, but I actually haven't had to charge this mouse yet. I've used it for well over a week at this point, and the stock battery is still going strong. Um, speaking of the battery, the first time I bought this mouse, it actually arrived to my house with the battery loose, um, but that was just an issue with shipping. I sent it back to him, he fixed it, obviously no charge and sent it back since then I have not had a problem but figured I should mention it. And that's gonna be all for the review of the ZA13 wireless. Make sure to leave a like and sub if you enjoyed, but like I said, this totally opened my eyes to a new type of 3D printed mice just using the original shell and a printed base. I think I'm gonna try an XM1 in the same style because I am done with waiting on Endgame in the same way I was done with waiting on Zowie. But yeah, just keep in mind, if you actually want to get one of these for yourself, the commission process is not going to happen overnight, and the form is to join the waiting list. Um, but yeah, if you really want it, I'm pretty sure that down the line, you will be able to get it from a commission. And of course, if you want to do it for yourself, there are the files, but just looking at the Google document, it is not an extremely easy mod. Um, like, it shouldn't be the first ever mod you do, um, but it is an option for those who are resourceful. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all. Like and sub if you enjoyed. Peace.